Bitcoin's back, baby, with the lovely volatility. And what does volatility equal? It equals opportunity, that opportunity to make profits in this market. Here today, we see Bitcoin with a lovely rise to the upsides. I'm going to be giving you in this video, telling you the exact levels you need to be aware of next and the exact trading plan we are using and will use over the next few days. I'm going to do this action packed. I'm going to try and get it in as quickly as possible, condense the information. So you only need to listen to exactly how to profit in this market. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to pick up where we left off the last video, where we had of course seen a large drop to the downside on Bitcoin and the start of a sideways period. Okay, this sideways period obviously defined by our sideways parallel channel, range high of that channel, range low. And of course, the middle of the channel I was saying in that video, very well respected middle of channel. Always nice to see, by the way. <laughs> um, so bring that one day prior. Uh, this was from the Champions live stream. With a parallel channel, you of course have a short opportunity of the range high and a long opportunity on the range low. OK, so this was on Sunday's Champions live stream explaining, you know, how we can get that long trade opportunity. The more time and data that you have, OK, the more this comes to life and fruition, that plan. So fast forwards to Tuesday, yesterday, I was explaining to my team why I was, you know, at the mo at that t moment in time, still bearish, still short, still looking for lower targets. So that is what was looking like this. OK, so let me just slow this down and make sure you fully understand. I am still at this moment in time bearish, still short, still not interested in any long opportunity until we hit my target. Where is that target for the long? It is the low of our parallel channel. That is an absolute acceptable long trade entry for me based off the reaction, of course. If we don't get a reaction, I'll look towards the naked point of control. And of course, that means I am bearish and short until we hit those targets. So that target, number one, being the low of our parallel channel for the long. What happens next? Well, we have to remain patient for nearly 48 hours, but it happens. We got our move down to that parallel channel low. And look at that. That is what we call a great reaction from the low, ending in the perfect swing failure pattern. OK, confirming that for them all. We got that perfect reaction off of the swing failure pattern. So I just want to say, like I'm saying here, for you know, like having that plan is the most important thing in trading, right? We had the parallel channel to trade and we just got to wait for the reaction. We get a perfect reaction swing failure pattern, which, of course, equals a long trade entry. You know, you can see here trading doesn't need to be hard. You just need to manage those emotions and stick to the plan. So you recognize the parallel channel. You understand the opportunities that that gives. Right. You understand the opportunities of a parallel channel. Then you need to, you know, remain patient or, in my opinion, you know, stick to that idea that I had. And that was I'm bearish. You know, I'm looking for lower until we hit that first major target for me, which is the low of the parallel channel. If there's no reaction. Then, of course, I'll look for my next level at the naked point of control. We get a perfect reaction off of that naked point of control. So then it's like I'm telling my team, we have seen the perfect swing failure pattern off of our parallel channel that we have been waiting now days for. So this is a great long opportunity. OK, so you had to be patient, but that is where you get the best setups, especially when you get reactions like that. That is just a you know, really perfect swing failure pattern reaction. It's what we love as a trader. OK, with that, we got this lovely bounce to the upside. OK. Uh, from this bounce to the upside, you know, I'll show you through my posts in the day today. Uh, as we came up to around this high, uh, I personally, you know, recognize there's a potential short here, but I'm not taking it. You know, if you're a very low term time frame trader, uh, you could take it. But for me, I don't really like the confluence at this moment in time. So personally, I didn't take that short. As I was telling my team, I didn't really like the confluence. Um, but <laughs> you know, you did get a bit of a pullback from there. So again, if you're a low term time frame scope trade trader, you know, there's a bit of profit to be had. But really, I'm still following my plan, which is, you know, looking looking for higher off of the bigger, um, you know, swing failure pattern reaction to the top of the channel around twenty seven thousand dollars. Right. So uh, Igor, though, you know, shout out to Igor here because he gave this long trade setup. Uh, during his uh, daily morning updates, he'd done a daily live stream today and he gave this look at this. This was perfection. This this long trade setup. So, you know, you had that pullback into right onto his entry. Just look at the precision here onto his entry. Twenty five, eight, two, four. OK, and from that entry, I mean, you can all see what's happened next. Right. Uh, <laughs> this was his magic squiggly line. Pull back to his entry price. 
look for that big rise to the upside. And we can see that absolutely is how it's played out. Pulled back right into his entry. And then that lovely big rise that we're seeing to the upside right now. So once again, he's formed his plan, executed his plan. Not just him, but a lot of champion members are also managing to execute on that, which is always lovely to see. But, um, you know, that's how we've got up to this point. Now I'm going to start to explain what we're looking for next, because that's obviously what a lot of people um, are going to be interested in, right? But I just wanted to explain there, take, you know, five minutes to show you. First of all, you have the channel plan. This takes a, you know, this takes a few days. We're talking about three days to come to action. So you have to remain during those three days in short positions, bearish looking for lower. Okay, that patience pays off as you get a great reaction from that channel low. That is the long trade opportunity because we did get the perfect reaction of a swing failure pattern. Well, we get then that bounce to the upside. If you missed the swing failure pattern and you missed the bounce, well, that's where Eagle comes into play here, giving you the next trade setup. It's don't FOMO in here. It's wait for the pullback to the amazing confluence for the long trade entry. And that's where you then execute on your next trade. OK, and, you know, he was obviously been away on holiday, but he's gone back and he's already providing the goods for the members. Right. So it's, yeah, plan the trade once again. <laughs> he wanted to see higher. There you got it. You know, absolutely everything coming to fruition. And, you know, just just absolute shout out to Eagle because, you know, that is a setup that I personally wouldn't have seen. Um, You know, and he has the eyes for this. Right. He's found that setup. Um. And I honestly think that was a difficult one to find. And he found it. He timed the low perfectly. And, uh, you know, the reaction off of that has been, well, nothing less than perfect. So, yeah, if you miss the original long, you'll wait for the next best entry. And again, if you struggle to find those setups, if you struggle to find those entries, well, that's what we provide you right at chartchampions.com. Um, so, yeah, what are we looking for next? Well, naturally, you know, if you're looking for my plan, I am still looking for higher. So this was my plan from Sunday. I personally would like to see a move to the top of this channel. If you're following Eagle's plan, Eagle's plan is similar, where he would also like to see a move to the top of that channel. So our overall targets of this long have not been hit yet. So if you want to follow along with that, then we are actually looking for this high to be taken out at $27,000, right? Why? Well, here we have a lot of confluence. So just as we were waiting for the reaction off of our parallel channel low, we can now wait for the reaction off of our parallel channel high. OK, well, we'll be looking for one of two things. Do we form a swing failure pattern like we did here? Or if we do, and we got a short trade entry. If we do not form a swing failure pattern or failed auction, which would, if we do, give a short trade entry. Alternatively, we get no reaction and we can actually look for the next level to the upside, right? Just as if the down here, if we did not form an SFB, we could have looked towards the naked point of control. Here, if we do not form a swing failure pattern or failed auction, then we could look for the naked point of control above us. We would be aware, of course, of the CME gap fill. This is a never important level. And if not, then of course, then we got that bigger level really coming in around the weekly at 29,300, right? That would be our next big level. So it's a matter of, a little bit of patience once more. So I personally wouldn't short where we are here. Okay, I wouldn't take that short yet. So it's like when I we, when we were here, I was bearish, short, looking for lower. We got the drop. Well, then naturally, that's the long trade opportunity we're waiting for. We're going to take that long trade, right? So where we are here, I am long. I'm not bullish, by the way. But, uh, you know, this is where it comes to trading the charts. Even though I was bearish, this is still a good long trade. OK, I still feel higher term time frame bearish, but nevertheless, I wouldn't short where we are here because I would like to see higher here locally. Right. And then I will wait for the reaction. If we get a reaction like this, I'll take another short and compound. If we don't get that reaction, we don't get the failed auction or, or swing fire pattern. Then I will happily look for the rise to around twenty nine thousand five hundred or higher. Right. See how much of a um, you know breakout strength we get. Again, how do we monitor the strength? We look at the order flow. Um, so, yeah, that's what I would be personally looking for next. Be aware of the uh, CME gap, right? Be aware of the CME gap. This is all lining up nicely, of course, with this local DXY fake out of the triangle pullback with the ES rise as well, right? All lining up together for Bitcoin there. Um, yeah, so that's basically how these past few days have progressed. 
the importance of having a plan, the importance of marking out your levels, the importance of trading the reaction. When you get the reaction, don't be scared. You know, if you've been planned along, take the long. Okay, you're waiting for the long trade opportunity. If you get the reaction, which you did get, take the trade. Or if you were asleep or you missed that trade, you wait for the next best trade opportunity, which was given this morning in our live stream. And then you get, you know, that was literally the perfect long trade entry um, for, for the reaction now. So, of course, this not, this is a uh, already hit a take profit one. So that means that if we you know, if we do totally crash from here, at least that long will have ended in profits. OK, that's the you know the most important thing you're after in this market is profit. Not necessarily to be right, because you can still make profits even when you are wrong, so to speak. OK, so if we're looking for the top of the channel. And we've took a long from either the SFP or here. And we've now locked in take profit one. Well, if we are technically wrong and drop from here, that trade is still profitable. because so we've locked in take profit one, move stop loss up. OK, so we would like to see higher. But if we don't get that, we are protected either way. So, uh, yeah, final words. I'd like to see a bit higher here. OK, uh, then we'll check the reaction. If we don't get a bearish reaction, then we will simply look for a very large short squeeze to the upside. That can be a very fast quick move up here so you know don't get caught on the wrong side of a short squeeze <laughs> please uh, don't do that um and yeah if we get that nice reaction then we know the trade to be taking uh yeah so yeah hope you've enjoyed this video if you want to see more from myself and the rest of the team me igor rivalry and severin then you've got daily live stream updates you've obviously got the whole theory and course on our website along with the journal along with the templates and cheat sheets everything that you need to succeed in trading uh, of course you can see the upcoming events tomorrow we got three live streams for you including uh, some nice live trading for you as well and of course the altcoin update which everybody loves you got the altcoin update tomorrow so <laughs> yeah you know where to get us if you want more juicy information cheers everybody thank you and that's me signing out goodbye